You might remember that on the 23rd of October last year, 39 Vietnamese people were found dead in the back of a lorry in Essex. We all watched as news of the tragedy unfolded. And very quickly, politicians like the local member of parliament and Home Secretary Priti Patel began referring to this as a case of human trafficking. Now, human trafficking is something called modern slavery, and it has a specific meaning. It doesn't mean moving people across borders unlawfully, although that can be part of a case. To know something is human trafficking, you need to prove that the victims have been exploited or are going to be exploited. And nobody knew that. Not the politicians, not the press, not the police. And as the Old Bailey trial of those charged in this case opens next week, not a single one of them has been charged with human trafficking. So what's happened here? Why were politicians so quick to say that this was trafficking when they had no evidence and now evidence is being collected, it's not the case. When politicians like Priti Patel refer to an immigration incident as human trafficking, they're doing so as a political act. Because when we think of human trafficking, when we think that these 39 people lost their lives because of human trafficking, we lay the blame for their deaths at the feet of the traffickers. This distracts us from the role of government and its immigration policy. One of the fathers of those who tragically died in that lorry has been clear. He's told the press that his son wanted to come to the UK in order to earn enough money to build a better life for himself and his family back home. He wanted what the rest of us want, the chance for a good life. It's clear that in this case, the problem is not trafficking. The problem was our borders. It's not only UK politicians who cynically use human trafficking to lobby for their anti-migrant policies. US President Donald Trump does the same thing with his Mexico border wall. He frequently tells lurid tales of women being trafficked for sexual exploitation in order to legitimize his wall. This is despite the fact that numerous fact checkers, investigative journalists and on the ground experts have said that these tales are almost entirely fictional. If you want to know the truth about how politicians are cynically using the real cruelty of human trafficking to lobby for their anti-migrant policies, please pre-order my book, The Truth About Modern Slavery, from Pluto Press, now.